Good afternoon, just got off the water. Um, I put a few holes in my boat today. Uh, the reason for is because I didn't properly hold the fish. I held, I was holding it very loosely and I should have had a more firm grip. So slipped out of my hands like a bar of soap as shown in the next video. And I got a few spikes in the pontoon, but that is not a problem because you can fix it super easily and I'm gonna get back out on the water tomorrow. So I'll play the clip and you'll see me come back. That was an epic fail. This guy like rocket launched out of my hands. All right, pretty funny, right? Right? I know, funny. Okay, once that happened, I fished the remaining four hours of our day out in the water and pontoon lost only 30% of air. Um, and then I was also towing a friend back. So the left pontoon was kind of like bending inwards as I was driving, but it wasn't a problem. Didn't mess up. I was able to drive two miles back to the harbor on a 70% inflated pontoon as well as pulling someone behind me. So um, boat is right behind me. I'm going to go ahead and flip around the camera and I'm going to show you how to find your hole and how to repair it. So for this project, you're going to need your repair kit, a clamp, and two small pieces of wood. You can use two two by fours, but for me personally, I just like little small pieces of wood. These work just fine. A Sharpie marker and a bottle of soap. So I have a general idea of where my hole is. I believe it is going to be on the left side on the inside. All you need to do is take your bottle and spray. Now, when you see bubbles, you know there's a hole there. So that's normal. That's the um, that's so it doesn't expand all the way when I'm out in the water and the sun is constantly heating on the pontoon, filling it up. So that's like a safety feature. So I loosen that so it does let out air. So that's not where the hole is. We're gonna keep searching. All right, so uh, I found the hole. The hole is right here. I hope the camera will focus. There we go. We are gonna dry that spot off. We're gonna take the Sharpie and mark it. And then there might be another hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray some more and see if I can find any others. So I went ahead and searched up and down, top and very bottom. This is the only hole that I found, which is great. I thought it was gonna be more holes, but that is perfect. One is better than two. We're gonna wipe everything off clean. We're gonna go ahead and deflate it. I'm gonna grab out the patch. I'm gonna show you what you need to do and we'll go from there. So in your repair kit, you are gonna find a adjuster for your valves. You're gonna find a few repair mats. Now I've already cut this one because I use this quite a bit for different projects. So that's why it's a lot smaller. A normal piece would be a lot bigger and you're gonna have more space to use. This is also the glue you're gonna use. It is extremely strong and it is awesome. Like this thing is like, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's very strong. So if we head over to our hole, our hole is pretty small right here. We are going to cut a quarter sized circle out. Now don't make it a square because those little corners will lift up over time. You just wanna make a little quarter make sure all the sides are round you're going to put glue on here let it sit for about 10 minutes and then take your patch that has glue put it together and i'm going to take the two pieces of wood i'm going to clamp this together and you got to let it dry for about 72 hours now for me personally i've done it in 24 hours and i go back out the next day and i don't have a problem now we are going back out tomorrow so this will be drying for about 11 hours. Now it should hold up, but we're gonna test it out tomorrow morning. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and take a different boat. Okay, so we have our patch. Now we're gonna add glue to it. So I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's like little rivets on one side and it's completely smooth on the other side. You're gonna wanna put the glue on the completely smooth side because the rivets are gonna match the layer on top of your pontoon. So it'll blend right in. Make sure it's round, make sure there's no pointed edges that are gonna peel up. Now me personally, I like to give a generous amount of glue when I'm putting on these patches. I don't wanna do just a little bit. I wanna make sure that hole is sealed and I wanna make sure that patch is never going to come off. So the black stuff is actually Sharpie when I went and put the glue on the boat, it just smeared off, so that's normal. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take our clamps and we are going to put everything together. All right, there we go. That is clamped together really tightly. We're gonna go ahead and let this sit overnight. We're gonna take off the blocks of wood, pump it up and see if she holds. Now it should, but we're gonna see tomorrow. You could 
just put some weight on top of the blocks but me personally i like the clamp because it's less hassle than putting a brick on it and you can tighten it down extremely tight to make sure you have a firm and tight seal so we're going to come back tomorrow morning and i'll see you there well 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 good morning guys it is currently morning time we're getting ready to go out um, this has been sitting overnight so we are going to unscrew this and we are going to pump this up we're going to use the foot pump so i don't wake anyone up and we are going to test her out today on the water and see how it holds wow it's hard to <laughs> do this with one hand All right, so glue's all nice and flattened in. I don't mind that at all. Obviously, yes, it looks a little wonky. You can take some glue remover. Just make sure it's not gonna melt the plastic, but you can go ahead and clean that up if you want. We're gonna go ahead and pump this up. I'm gonna grab my soapy water again. We're gonna spray around this. Make sure that there is no leaking. There shouldn't be because of how much glue there is. And then we're gonna test her out in the water today. All right, there we go. It is pumped up. You can see there's a little outline from the wood. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take our soapy water. And awesome. Look at that. No bubbles. Sweet. So we're going to be solid this morning. Patching a hole in the boat is super simple and easy. Uh, like shown before, all you need is a Sharpie and a bottle of soap clamp and obviously your repair kit. Go ahead and spray your bottle of soap of where you think the hole might be. You'll see bubbles coming out. And then go ahead and dry that spot off. Mark it with the Sharpie, deflate your pontoon, put glue on the actual boat, and then put glue on the patch. When you put glue on the patch, make sure the front of the patch is the same texture on the outside as it is on your actual pontoon. You can either clamp it together like I did, or you can lay a brick or something heavy on top of it. Mine dried in 11 hours, but instructions say let it dry for about 24 hours. I hope this helps. I apologize for the shaky camera. I didn't use a tripod for this video. If you have any other questions about repairing a hole on your vessel, go ahead and leave a comment below, or you can reach out to me via my social media platforms. Are you ready to race to the kelp? No. I'll give you a head start. Go for it. Full speed, baby. Catching up. Coming in hot. Coming in hot with two people!